Now, while you'd reasonably expect developers to want players to easily access every feature in their game, for whatever reason, they sometimes opt to downplay some of their niftier, more clever mechanics, or perhaps not even mention them at all. And these 10 video game mechanics are effectively hidden in their own games. So let's take a look at them. As I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and these are 10 genius hidden mechanics in video games. Number 10. Coyote Time Gives You Extra Time To Jump – Celeste and Many Others Now, Celeste certainly isn't the first platformer to include this mechanic, though given that it happens to be one of the most brutally difficult recent games in its genre, it's especially noteworthy that it makes good use of it. Now, Coyote Time is a technique in games development where players are given an extra fraction of a second after leaving a platform to leap before gravity kicks in and drops them down, named after Wily Coyote's gravity-divine tendencies, of course. This mechanic is employed to basically limit player frustration during difficult platforming, but given that Celeste is all about being hard as nails, many simply assumed it didn't include such forgiving mechanics. And yet the game's creator confirmed in a fascinating Twitter thread that Coyote Time is indeed part of Celeste's platforming framework, and that you're granted a few frames of forgiveness after leaving a ledge to make your jump. Now knowing this admittedly doesn't really make Celeste any more infuriatingly difficult, but still, at least it's there. Number 9. Serrated and Righteous Damage Modifiers – Bloodborne from Software's action RPGs are some of the most intricately designed games of their kind, such that the enthusiastic fanbase relishes digging as deep into the guts and meta of the game as possible. Now, For the most part, Bloodborne basically just leaves players to it to figure out things for themselves, typically through trial and error, and what I really mean by that is a lot of dying. But there is one significant mechanic, however, that is entirely internalized and never even hinted at within the game world itself, the secret serrated and righteous damage modifiers. Weapons like the saw cleaver and the church pick are serrated and will grant the player 20% additional damage against heavily transformed monsters, while righteous weapons such as the church pick and holy moonlight sword will deal varying extra damage to enemies of the healing church. Given that the weapons themselves don't indicate these secret abilities, you'll need to figure that out for yourself, or far more likely use the player wiki and save yourself a lot of time. Considering Bloodborne's high level of challenge, it's absolutely worth exploiting every possible advantage while out in the field, especially those that From Software hides right underneath your bloody nose. Number 8. IVs and EVs are secret Pokemon stat values – Pokemon even long-time Pokemon fans might be dismayed by EVs and IVs, which are the secret values which determine the strength of your Pokemon. Now, IVs are individual values, hidden attributes applied to each Pokemon when they're caught, which determines how high or low their base stats can go, typically between 0 and 31. IVs can't ever be seen in-game and must be manually calculated using the Pokemon's known stats, or more likely an online calculator designed to do the job for you. By breeding two Pokemon with high IVs for a given trait, you can can effectively engineer the creation of a mentally powerful Pokemon. Basically, IVs are the Pokemon version of genes. EVs, meanwhile, are effort values, hidden stats which can be obtained by defeating certain Pokemon in battle. Winning a battle will earn you an EV point, and four EV points will grant you one extra stat point. While you can also feed your Pokemon vitamins to further boost their EVs, so in total you can obtain about 510 EV points for a Pokemon. It might sound like a bit of a headache, but for anyone sufficiently invested in the Pokemon meta or just keen to get into the competitive scene, IVs and EVs are an absolutely vital part of the process. Number 7. Dodge Offset Lets You Keep The Combos Going – Bayonetta Bayonetta is one of the most expressive and enjoyable character action games out there, but one of its most important mechanics is easily missed by most players, and that is the dodge offset. Though it is referenced in both the game's instruction manual and an in-game menu, there's no outright tutorial or unmissable explanation for it, which is shocking considering how radically it changes combat. Dodge offset is a means through which the player can continue chaining an attack combo together while also dodging clear of enemy attacks. Basically, if you're midway through a combo and need to dodge, simply Simply keep the last button hit in your combo held down while pressing the dodge button, then release the hit button once you've dodged clear, and then hit the next button in your combo and it will continue as though the dodge had never interrupted it. Dodge offset is extremely tricky to master, but it also makes Bayonetta considerably more enjoyable to play. If you're planning on conquering the game on higher difficulties, this is basically a necessary skill. It's also included in many other Platinum Games titles, where again, it's generally not even explained up front for some baffling reason. Number 6. Playing in New Game Plus – Fez Fez is one of the most ingenious platformers of the last decade, but did you know that it contains a secret mechanic that allows protagonist Gomez to fly? Yep. Once you beat the game and start New Game Plus, you'll be able to take flight after pressing up four times and then the jump button once. 
When videos of Gomez first flying materialized online, word spread that it was some sort of glitch or just a custom mod, but indeed, it's an official mechanic surreptitiously hidden within the game. Naturally, the power of flight is an incredibly useful one for anyone who's already beaten the game once, to navigate the world at a massive advantage without the pesky limitations of gravity. A select few players found the feature by total lucky accident, but let's be honest, most everyone else just read about it online. Number 5. Advanced Melee Combat Makes the Game Way More Fun – Resident Evil 6 now, Resident Evil 6 is a deeply, deeply flawed game for many, many reasons, but it does deserve a measure of credit for including a surprisingly comprehensive array of melee combat options, even if the game does a frankly terrible job of actually explaining them to the player. Now, Many players understandably jumped into Resident Evil 6 and tried to play it like the previous two action-centric games, yet many wound up dying with far greater frequency than expected because this isn't really the way Capcom designed RE6 to be played. The game's tutorial offers just the bare minimum of information about the myriad ways that you can approach enemies, and how smoothly skilled players can string together melee, gunplay, counters, dives, slides, and so on if they invest the time to learn about it. But Capcom did such a terrible job of explaining the advanced combat options in-game that it fell to fans to write their own tutorials, though ultimately many players just likely brute forced their way through it the old-fashioned way while being none the wiser. Though the game is still largely deserving of its wildly mixed reviews and mediocre reception, its deceptively deep combat deserved to have a far brighter spotlight shone on it, because it remains one of the most ambitious aspects of the entire series. Number 4. Jump Cancelling Makes You Unstoppable – Devil May Cry Jump cancelling has appeared in every single Devil May Cry game, and proved popular enough with fans that it was introduced as an upfront mechanic in its own right from Devil May Cry 4 onwards, but before that, players basically just went about figuring it out for themselves. Jump cancelling allows players to interrupt their stylish juggling attacks mid-air by leaping off an enemy at the precise moment that they make contact, allowing players to keep a combo going for frankly hilarious amounts of time. This can naturally be incredibly useful for dealing with large swathes of enemies and also bosses. Like Bear Bayonetta's dodge offset, jump cancelling requires an enormous amount of practice to perfect the timing and can't be used with equal effectiveness for all moves in your arsenal. However, the immense combat opportunities it opens up are well worth it for committed players. Number 3. Reserves help you maintain a longer boost – Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled much like the main platformer franchise, Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled is a surprisingly complex and challenging game, filled with difficult to master mechanics, some of which aren't even explicitly relayed to the player at all. The key to victory lies in mastering the game's turbo boosting mechanic, where you can chain skills together to achieve different coloured boost, leading up to the super fast blue fire boost, affectionately called the ultra sacred fire by fans. Maintaining the ultra sacred fire boost is incredibly difficult, and reliant on how well you're able to get to grip with the hidden reserves mechanic. You're able to build up invisible boost reserves by chaining together power slide turbos, hang time turbos, turbo pads, and turbo power ups, which for skilled enough players will basically allow them to keep the ultra sacred fire boost going potentially indefinitely. This is an absolutely behind the curtain yet a crucial technique to learn if you're serious about competitive online play. Number 2. Affection points determine your character interactions. Final Fantasy. Since the release of the original Final Fantasy VII, several games in the series have included point-based relationship dynamics, whereby your future interactions with party members are determined by how you deal with them up until that point. Final Fantasy VII, for instance, picked who Cloud took on a date to the Gold Saucer between Aerith, Tifa, Yuffie, and Barret, depending on the player's dialogue choices and actions prior. There are invisible numerical values applied to each character, which are weighted towards Aerith and against Barret, making them the most and least likely candidates respectively. Effectively. Speaking favourably to Tifa numerous times early in the game, however, can result in her quickly overtaking things. Similarly, Final Fantasy VII Remake will show players a different cutscene later in the game depending on which characters they deferred to throughout, and whether or not they completed certain side quests. And then there's Final Fantasy X, which also applies an invisible numerical value to your party members. Unlike Final Fantasy VII, however, all party members are given equal weighting to begin with, and their standing can be affected by how often the player heals, protects, or even attacks them in battle, and also which character they speak to first during certain sequences. Whichever character scores the highest total will be the one that Tidus, even though it should totally be Tidus, talks to during select dynamic cutscenes, as well as the character being the one to throw the blitz ball during his overdrive move Blitz Ace. While it is in no way a vital mechanic, it nevertheless is a pretty neat one that Square Enix put so much time into, but then never told the player about. And number 1. Crystal Flash Can Heal Samus In A Pinch – Super Metroid 
Super Metroid contains a number of hidden mechanics that the game doesn't tell you about or only vaguely hints at. Players who hang around on the game's menu screen, for example, will learn that the rejuvenating Crystal Flash ability exists but are never told how to pull it off. Only when Nintendo Power Magazine spilled the beans was anyone able to execute the move, which for players low on health and with an empty reserve tank would allow them to detonate the power bomb in their possession and transfer the resulting explosive energy into a health boost. Crystal Flash is executed by entering the Morph Ball form and then detonating a power bomb. At the same time, players must hold down L and R, plus down and the fire button, which if done right will result in Samus being lifted into the air amid a white orb of brilliant white light, refilling her health and reserves. Though the ability is certainly risky to use during intense combat as you're left wildly exposed to enemy attacks, the life-giving potential, well, it speaks for itself. And there we go, my friends. Those were 10 genius hidden mechanics in video games. I hope that you enjoyed that, and please let me know what you thought about it down in the comment section below. As always, I've been Jules. You can go follow me over on Twitter at RetroJ with a zero, or you can swing by Live and Let's Dice, where I do all of my streaming outside of work, and it'd be great to see you over there. But before I go, I just want to say one thing. Hope you treat yourself with love and respect, my friends, because you deserve all of the best things in life, and do not let anything or anyone else tell you otherwise, all right? Big love to you, my friend. Now go out there and utterly smash it. As always, I've been Jules. You have been awesome. Never forget that, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.